everyone, it's Stephanie Griffin, Ms. American West, Continental Worldwide 2023. And today is what I hope will be the first of many Continental Worldwide Bake Days. Today I'm joining Chelsea Roberts, Mrs. Oregon, to bake up something savory or sweet to brighten someone's day. In my kitchen, we're baking up some zucchini and chocolate chip muffins. So let's get into it. So first we're going to put in a cup and three quarters of flour. I like Bob Red Mill's artisan bread flour. And then we're going to put in one half and one third cups of brown sugar. Now, I actually don't keep brown sugar in my house because I live at high altitude and brown sugar just dries out and becomes hard as a brick. So, and just so you know, uh, brown sugar is just regular white sugar with some molasses in it. So I can add a couple teaspoons of molasses to render that same effect. And this is actually dried cane sugar. So it's unbleached and unrefined. Then we are going to add our oil. And I will put the recipe in the comments. So don't worry if I'm not telling you how much of anything is going in here. But I like to use olive oil in all of my cooking because I like to avoid seed oils and vegetable oils because they have um, an unstable molecular structure which can lead to oxidation or rancidity. So you'll see, typically see me cook and bake with olive oil and if I'm cooking on the stove in the skillet, I'll use avocado oil because it has a higher smoke point. And a couple tablespoons of whole organic milk. And two large eggs. at room temperature. Wipe the hands off. Then a teaspoon of salt, which is just basically like the little round part of your finger, or your hand rather. Tablespoon, teaspoon of, ooh, I can't get this one open. There we go. Organic vanilla extract. I really like vanilla, so I'm actually gonna add an extra half a teaspoon. And then we're going to add our dry spices. So we've got some nutmeg, about a teaspoon of this. So just kind of eyeball it, because you can't have too much nutmeg, let's be honest with ourselves. And some cinnamon. And some ginger. So now we're going to put this on my trusty rusty KitchenAid mixer and I'll be back to put in some of the other ingredients. Okay now that's all mixed up. I'm just gonna leave my mixer in here. Now I have grated an entire large zucchini. I peeled it because my kids don't really like the peel. I know it's like the most nutritious part but you gotta make kids eat. So, and I double dried it and strained it so that it's nice and nice and dry. So it will make the muffins too liquidy, um, which can be a problem. Then I'm going to add some chocolate chips. Now this is one of my favorite chocolate chips because it literally has three ingredients, just three. It has pure cane sugar, cocoa butter, and chocolate. That's it. We're gonna just cut the lid off. And add, it calls for a cup, but I really think it makes it too difficult to, to mix once that's in there. So there we go, and back to the mixer. Okay, so now we've got a nice, nice batter here. And I like to use a third cup, measuring cup, to measure this out into the muffin cups. You know you've done a good job divvying up the dough and that's it. So now we are going to pop them into the oven at 425 degrees for about 30 minutes or until they come out uh, toothpick clean. Can't wait to see. 
see how things turn out. Okay, they're all done and out of the oven and cooled, so we're gonna give them a try. Mm. What do you think? It actually tastes pretty good. Good? Yeah. Did that brighten your day? Yes. Hey. Day brightened. Yay. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hey. Again, this is Stephanie Griffin, Miss American West, and this is a Continental Worldwide Big Day. Hey. Thanks for joining.